Happy Thursday. How you doing? How do I look? I gotta look good for you people. I happen to know you are beautiful people. We have the most beautiful partners of any ministry in the world. And I know how gorgeous you are. We're talking about hearing God's voice. Huh? I want to answer a question for you today. Are your thoughts ever God's voice? Does God speak to you through your thoughts? Can God cause you to think things? Let's talk about it. Say this with me. The rest of my life, the rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. Everything I, touch turns to gold. I am smart. I'm smart. Getting smarter, Getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. I'm extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. My mind is quick and sharp. I never forget anything. I am a wonderful person. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Pastor Jim's the ultimate pastor. America's ultimate pastor yes. is who you are hooked up with. Because I get results and I'm available. We talked about that some this week. There may be some other people out there who get results. But there's none of them available to you. Not that I know of. But I'm available. I love God's people and I don't make any bones about it. Other pastors say to me, how can you take all those phone calls? How can you talk to all those people? I said, I love those people. I love God's people. That's the heart of God. Amen. I was a little bit indignant earlier this week about a lady who needs to be healed and she's not getting healed. But Mary and I were talking about that and I came to realize that's, the, that's God's heart. I believe God is indignant when his people don't get healed. It says that God takes pleasure in our prosperity. Well, if he takes pleasure in your prosperity, what does he think about your poverty if you're broke? I think he has displeasure in that. Not in you, but in your situation. I don't think a, a situation of poverty blesses God at all. None. He gets no enjoyment out of that. Because he takes pleasure in your prosperity. That word prosperity is shalom. It means wholeness completeness, wellness. God takes pleasure in your good health also. Beloved, above all things, it is my wish that you be in health and prosper even as your soul prospers. So we prosper our soul, our health increases, and our finances do too. Amen. Make sure you call me today if you need anything. I'm always here for our partners. Amen. Give everybody you know who is sick one of these books. People are buying these now in mass because they're seeing how they work. Sick people are getting a hold of this book and getting healed. You can make a difference in somebody's life. If you know somebody who is sick, if you have access to or knowledge of anybody who is sick or has dementia or Alzheimer's or who is struggling, I don't care who they are, please try to get word to them to call me. Send them one of these books. Send them one of these books. Glory to God. You know what? I'm going to do just that with the lady I was talking about. We're going to send a book. We're going to send them a book. Mary, do you hear that? Yeah. We send a book. We're going to send it, and we're going to write his name on it. That way other people won't take it and read it. It's going to have his name on it. 
So that's what I do. I did that with a very prominent preacher. I, I sent him one of our blessing books. The blessing book. And I wrote his name up there at the top. And guess what? He's been preaching it out of it ever since. How do I know he's been preaching out of it? Because I check him out. And he hasn't given me any credit either. I don't care. I don't care. Glory to God. Huh? He only disagrees with me on one issue. He says the blessing will push out the curse. Wrong! No, the curse blocks the blessing. The curse blocks the blessing. Once you remove the curse, then the blessing flows. Once Jesus had to remove the spirit of infirmity before he could heal the lady in uh, Luke chapter 13. He healed all who were oppressed of the devil. You know how he did that? He cast out the devil. <clears throat> Amen. Now let's get, let's get to this. Make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations. Amen. Tomorrow is offering day, but a lot of people jump in there and get it done early. But when you do, it's okay. You can do your offerings any day, but make sure you call me because I want to speak God's blessing over you. Are your thoughts, what you think in this thing up here, what you think in this thing up here, is it ever God's word? Some people think it is. Some people think it is. Some people think every time they get a thought, God's talking to them. Well, God said this to me, and God said that to me. God said this to me, and I've been talking to you about the guy in Wisconsin who constantly tells everybody, God said this, and God said that. I said to him one day, I said to him, how come God doesn't tell you how to make money for your family? Does God know how to make money? Well, of course he does. He knows everything. If you need to make money, ask God what to do. Ask him for his wisdom. And you'll start making some good choices. There's a lot of ways out there to make money, folks. If you call me and tell me you need to make money, it'd take me about two minutes to figure out a way you can make some money. It won't take long. Mary will tell you, she's always trying to get people in business, aren't you, Mary? Yeah. She's always trying to, to help people get started in business. Guy set up a business downtown a few years ago. Mary helped him set it up. Boy, she did the advertising for him and she had posters and she had... Everything, and I mean, he just flourished. But then he decided he didn't like what she did because he thought it wasn't professional. So he redid it. And guess what? He went broke. He didn't realize her blessing was on what she did. As long as he was hooked up with her in that business, he prospered. But once he got away from her, he wasn't blessed, but she is. She, why do you think I hang around with her? Uh -huh. I hang around with her because she's blessed of the Lord. I knew God's blessing was on her the day I met her. I could tell there was something different about her. I didn't know what it was, but I knew there was something different. Come to find out, it's like somebody said to me one time, she has a direct line to God. <laughs> that means that somebody took, I told you that, didn't I? Yeah. yeah somebody told me that, they like Mary to pray for them because she has a direct line to God. <laughs> well, she does, but so do I. And so do you. Amen. Your thoughts. Does God talk to you through your thoughts? Because you have thoughts go through your head every day. We thought one time that we should have a restaurant. We thought we would do good in a restaurant. And we really... 
prayed about it and thought about it and thought about all this and thought about all that and oh my goodness, what a deal that was. And finally, we did it. We bought a restaurant. Refinanced our house to get the money to do it. That's when I found out that my thoughts was, wasn't God talking to me. Huh? We lost a hundred thousand bucks in that deal. Hundred thousand bucks. But God gave it back to us. We got it all back. Praise God's mercy is new every morning. The minute you admit you made a mistake, God will fix it for you. That's the secret to getting your mistakes fixed. I'll talk about that one of these days too. You admit to the Lord, Lord, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, I missed it. I didn't hear from you. I thought I was, but I didn't. I wasn't hearing your voice. I should have been more careful. The minute you admit that something is your fault and you take responsibility, God is so happy to jump in there and fix it for you. But if you blame other people and you don't take responsibility, he's not there at all. Amen. Are your thoughts God's way of talking to you? Very simply, the answer is nope. Nope. But the devil can sure bring thoughts to you. Huh? The devil would like you to think that's God talking to you. The devil can cause other people to talk to you and put thoughts in your head. Most of the time, thoughts in your head come from outside sources. Turn on the TV. You'll think different after you turn it off. Because your, your head will be, your little head full of mush will be full of their words. You'll start thinking all kinds of stuff. But, you know, somebody said, and I just was telling Mary about this just a little bit before we went on the air, that somebody said, if you believe everything you read, which a lot of people do, if you believe everything you read, start with the Bible. Read the Bible. Because that's a good thing to believe. God will speak to you through his word. That Bible, Mary, at, at the beginning of her Bible years ago, I opened up her Bible because I was going to look for something. And at the very beginning of her Bible, it said, Dear Mary. Dear Mary. She thinks... God wrote that for her. She thinks that whole book is God's love letter to her. That's what she thinks. It is. She's listening to me. She just said it is. You should think the same thing. That's how you should treat God's word. Treat it as a very personal letter from God to you because it is his word to you. He's speaking his word. But your thoughts, that is not how God speaks to people. He speaks to people inside your belly in an audible voice. I'm going to get into that more tomorrow. Make sure you call me today if you need your prayers answered. Because I, I, I want to get your prayers answered. And I can do it. I use the power in the name of Jesus to get prayers answered. Glory to God. I'll get your prayers answered for you, too. And make sure you call me when you do your offerings and donations. Share this video with everybody you know, especially if you know people who are sick and broke, people who are at the point of despair, people who are depressed, people who are addicted. You, you, I'll break the power of the devil in their life. If you know families who have children that are just totally out of control, have them call me. I'll bind the devil in their life and everything will change. I'm determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life.